a Colto. It's awesome. This is probably going to be one of my favorite top three beers. I can already tell. Uh, oh. um, Nintendo cartridges tapes back then, and I'd never heard anyone do that either. So uh, my wife just sent me a text, kind of upsetting. Not about her, just um, that um, I just got the text that Wes Craven died. I don't know when that was. So Wes Craven, what can I say? Honestly, I mean, I was never a big fan of the majority of his work. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. It's one of my favorite, favorite horror movies. The original, not the, not the sequels. The sequels are okay. They're nostalgic. When viewed objectively, most of them are not that great. But the original Nightmare on Elm Street, oh my god, that is so... It's so decidedly 80s without being cheesy, and it's just crazy enough to work. And it's, you know, it presented a legitimately terrifying concept. It's like, what if, you know, what, what if you were never truly safe from, from homicide? What if you could still be killed in your dreams? You know, it, it's such a simple concept, but Wes Craven made it work, man. I mean, he, he pulled it off. You know, Freddy Krueger is forever a part of American pop culture now. And horror pop culture all around the world. I can only hope to one day have that, that kind of an effect with something that I put out into the universe. Wes Craven, though, I mean, he pulled it off, and he pulled it off numerous times. You know, his style wasn't necessarily mine, but... But he owned it. He made it happen. And the world is worse off without him. Here's to you, Wes Craven. I'm going to dedicate this ass kicking to Wes Craven. Wish I would have saved my magnets now. Die, motherfucker, die! Die, motherfucker, die! Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die! Here's to you, Wes. 